I started wrestling at a young age. My dad was longtime coach at North Idaho Junior College. And my older brother wrestled. I got a bunch of cousins that wrestled. My uncles all wrestled as well. And yeah, you know, I, I get that question. When did you start? Well, you know, I it's kind of funny. I, I was born into it. The day that I was born is the day that I started wrestling or falling in love with the sport. And so I had the opportunity to be in a college wrestling room you know, as a baby. And most kids don't have that opportunity. I think I developed a passion for the sport, a passion to coach it, to participate in it, and to give back in it. You know, having a, a long lineage of wrestling coaches in my family has instilled on me that, you know, you want to impact as many kids as you can. And you found a sport that if you're willing to sacrifice and give everything that the, the coach is going to do the same for you. You know, I didn't have success in the sport as a youth wrestler. You know, I think that's kind of something that drove me as I had an older brother that had a lot of success. Almost to one, and Ross Thomas says that's a fall in one minute and seven seconds for Tommy Owen of Washington. And he was winning, you know, state titles and national titles, and I was the first kid out of the local tournament. And I think that kind of had a big impact. Well, I want to be the guy that wins. You know, I, I put in a good amount of work and, you know, kind of got through junior high, uh, had a little bit of a growth spurt and became competitive on the national level when I got to high school. Uh, I was in the state finals four times in high school. Cadet and junior high school age groups uh, was in the national finals of both of those. You had the opportunity to be recruited uh, by a couple different colleges and chose to go to Boise State. I was able to get into the Pac-12 finals, uh, you know, became Pac-12 champion, got to go to the national tournament three different times in my career. Uh, had some injuries, uh, you know, that, that doesn't define your career, I don't think. Uh, it's frustrating because I thought I had more ability than what I was able to accomplish. And then in the freestyle, I wrestled in the university, university nationals. I wrestled in the UWW Juniors, which is 20 and under. I got to compete on a national stage. I went to the Pan American Games. I got to compete on the international stage as well. I, I had some success in the sport and was able to kind of take advantage of being able to travel around the country and travel around the world a little bit. At the time that I chose to go to Boise State, it was a powerhouse in the Northwest. They won the Pac-10 championships a couple years, and they were becoming a powerhouse in the national level as well. There was a lot of local kids that had quite a bit of success that, that made the choice that we're going to stay local and we're going to try you know, to win here. And to a greater extent, a lot of those guys had success. I know Jason Chamberlain you know, was in the national finals. Andrew Hochstrasser was in the national finals. They're both from Utah. Uh, you had Kirk Smith and Adam Hall, both from Idaho. Tyler Scherfies from Washington that had great success at the NCAA tournament. And so those guys were very young at the time. And when you got a freshman and sophomores that are vying for podium spots at the national tournament, that's inspiring. And so that's what made an easy choice for me to say, that's, you know, that's where I want to go. That's a group of people that's going to make sacrifices. What happened to Boise State was a travesty. They kind of made the decision to get rid of the program. Yeah, it is frustrating, you know, and then going there, I relished the opportunities that I had. You know, you had an amazing time, you got college education, you got to compete on the national stage, travel the country, have an opportunity that most people don't get, and that was stripped away. For 30 kids a year that would have been on that roster, they will no longer have the ability to have that opportunity. So losing one program is, is detrimental to getting kids to college and motivating kids and you know, giving kids the same opportunities in the Northwest that people have around the country. Where we want kids to end up is we want everybody to have the opportunity to get a college education. If they can get that paid for for wrestling, then we did our job. Uh, name's Brian Owen, the club director for Inland Northwest Regional Training Center.